and welcome to my podcast. Uh, this is Crochet Moments, I'm Helen and this is my place where I like to talk about all my things that I've been working on and pretty much anything yarn related because I'm a bit of a yarn addict. Um, so yes, yeah, so thank you for coming um, to see my little programme, prop programme, podcast. <laughs> And listen to me whittering on for, well, I always try and keep it about 30 to 45 minutes, but always ends up going over, so I do apologise if I start to ramble. Um, yes, yeah, so you can find me, um, I will put my email below, should you want to just send me pictures. I, lo I love to see pictures of what people are working on, uh, if you just want to chat. <laughs> uh, one of the reasons for me doing this podcast is to make new Yarny friends, so... I'm all, all open to any kind of contact you like. Um, my a Ravelry, I'm Helen Brown Crochet, and Instagram is Crochet Moments. I'm all over the place. Oh, crikey. It's been a <laughs> Christmas jumper day. This is my last podcast before Christmas. So um, I thought I'd wear my jumper it's a bit sparkly this is actually a jumper that a customer at the bank bought for me so um yeah i hope that i'm in focus i'm looking at my reflection in the mirror and it's the mirror is a bit at a weird angle so i can't tell if i'm in focus so i'm really very sorry if i'm a bit fuzzy and i think i am a bit fuzzy <sighs> apologies for the change in angle there um i'm hoping that I won't lose my focus quite so much. It's still looking a bit fuzzy, but um, we shall see. Fingers crossed that I don't end up having to record this all again because of focus issues. Anyway, as I was saying, this lovely Christmas jumper was bought for me by a lovely customer at the bank. Um, she was very grateful for all the hard work I've been doing, helping her with various issues across the year so it was a bit of a lovely surprise and we've had christmas jumper day at the bank as well as part of uh fundraising efforts for save the children so we all donated five pounds for this anyway on with my whips i think have i missed anything oh yes my vlogs i've been doing daily vlogs for uh vlogmas a thank you to those of you who have watched i've um had a few new subscribers so hello if you're new here and if you're new here and aren't a subscriber feel free to click the subscribe button and the little bell and then you'll know when I podcast again I tend to film them every two weeks so it's usually um, every other weekend that I put something out there anyway whips no not whips finished objects first and I do have a couple of finished objects so I'm going to show you the first one because that I'm just completely and utterly blown away with I, I'm a devil I'm always forgetting to time so in my ends I need to do that oh dear right okay so this is the December hat you can see all this lovely cable look at that cabling and that is designed by Irina oh I've forgotten her name I'll link it um, I'll pop her name on the bottom of the screen and the pattern will be linked below it's a free pattern on Ravelry and here it is isn't it so beautiful this is the most complicated cable I have ever worked on. I can't believe <laughs> how well it's turned out. I expected to be basically frogging it and finding a simpler pattern. Um, I really would like to put a pom-pom on the top, but the friend I'm making this for doesn't like pom-poms. So as much as I would really think a pom-pom would finish this off I can't <laughs> and um, I did get a few questions when I posted this on um, my Facebook um, feed well, 
not my Facebook feed, uh, in the Winwick Mums Knit and Natter, I think it's called, Facebook group. And I did get someone ask about the yarn because obviously the yarn in the pattern, the suggested yarn, is an American brand or was a, a, an American hand dyer. And yeah, so that, that's the hat. So uh, the yarn is the Aldi Aran, which is really, really nice. Um, I am making something else with it. Um, not the same colour, different colour. So just, yeah, so it's 75% um, acrylic, 25% wool. So you've got, I don't know, it just feels so soft. It's so lovely. I need to make myself one of these. Although I don't know whether or not I'll make exactly the same one. I might make myself, um, there are a few other cabled hats that I like the look of that I might go for. But yes, I really like this. I'm so happy. <laughs> and it didn't take me as long as I expected to. So. <sighs> Sorry about that. Not sure what happened there. Um, I got a little message on my phone saying your camera will now turn off to cool down. So I have <laughs> didn't realise things got hot. I've filmed for longer than that before and not had a problem. So we shall see how many times it takes. I'm shaking the table again. Stop touching the table, Helen. And stop looking at the mirror behind you. Look at the camera. <laughs> anyway, yes, yeah, so this is my favourite finished object so far. I really love this hat. Now, on to my other finished object. And I'm actually quite proud of this one as well. I would like you to meet Safi the Squirrel. There she is in all her glory. Two-toned tail. I lost at Yarn Chicken. So this was from Crochet Society Box 18. And um, I used the yarn from the box and I ran out of the grey most of the way, halfway down the tail. So I had some, this is actually DK, this is a chunky, chunky, it was a thin chunky. I've had, I've had Aaron's the same thickness as this, um, but <laughs> we shan't go there. <laughs> and so yes, I had some DK, which is practically the same colour, so it's just a tiny difference, but um, I pinched her from Emily so that I can show you ever her. This is one of my more successful amigurumi attempts. I'm not the best at amigurumi. <laughs> I've had some really hilarious attempts and um, yeah, so I quite like this. Um, obviously with it being a crochet society box pattern I'm not sure um, what their deal is with the designers. Some of the designs that we I see I've seen in previous boxes have started to come out now so I will link the name of the designer and um, her Instagram handle for you and if I can find her blog, blog website or something I'll link that too so you can keep an eye on um, whether or not this is released if this is something that you want to do and I'm out of focus again um, yes whips um, I will start with this whip first. So this is one of the Christmas presents that I need to get done for next Thursday for our Christmas celebration. I'm not sure if you can really see terribly well. There we go. So this is the Meandering Paws scarf, although I've adapted the pattern a little bit to have two trails of footprints because the lady I'm making it for has two kittens so I'm really enjoying making this it, it's one that once you've got the pattern you don't really need to look at it other than I've had to make a note so I know how many treble crochets or double crochets if you're in the US or if you use US terms for the start of the first row of the paw 
so that I get the placement right. But And that's only because there are six stages in each repeat. So this first, so this paw print, there's a different amount at each time. So yeah, I'm quite nice. I'm really enjoying doing this. And I am um, use this is the So Crafty Aaron in forest green. And like I said, this is 75% uh, acrylic and 25% wool. And it's really nice. This is a 400 gram yard, um, ball. And it is, how many meters? Around about 800 meters. So I'm thinking, looking at the length of this already, I'm not even halfway down the ball. So this is either going to be a really, really long scarf or I'm going to have lots left over. At least half a ball. And I did buy two balls because I wasn't 100% sure what pattern I was going for. Whether I was going to go for a shawl or a scarf or a sweater or whatever for my friends. So I might make myself something and you never know. I might have enough to do a knitted sweater for myself. I do, I am getting back into enjoying my knitting. Apologies for the focus. I'm just going to have to just work with it. Just just ignore when I go out of focus and just enjoy the yarny goodness instead. So <laughs> it's, be, it's beyond getting on my nerves. Well, hopefully that's fixed it. It turns out that my delightful husband, Simon, has been faffing with the settings on my camera and, um, to try and get a better quality picture <laughs> he says it's a bit jerky in my vlogs i myself haven't noticed if you have noticed please let me know um sometimes i think it's probably just my my camera work my handling of the camera because for most of the time it's handheld i don't know anyway i've just finished talking about my meandering paws I can't remember the name of the designer. I will put her name along the bottom as well and also link her blog because this is a free pattern. I'm actually uh, using the blanket pattern and I'm just doing two repeats to get the two sets of it. So let's pop that to one side. I've just got lots and lots of little bits everywhere. Ooh. Now, Let's look at a couple of my knitting whips before we get on to my advent whip. So I've been, I have managed to do a little bit of work on Emily's unicorn jumper. I had hoped to have got the back finished by now. Um, I did a bit of knitting on it last Sunday. So just to remind you, this is roughly what it's going to look like and this is designed by Jane Burns and it is in issue 120 of the Knit Now magazine which is one of the magazines I occasionally pick up when I spot some nice things on the cover that I like to make so here we are this is the back so I've just started reducing for the armholes so it's just a, this is the Aldi um, DK and I can't remember the name of the color I think this one's steel gray I need to find the ball band to remind myself this is out of the um, yarn that I bought in the sep was it September I think it was the September um, sale when the they get yarn uh, twice a year usually twice a year so they, they do occasionally get other yarn in in between but their main yarn sale is twice a year in the spring and in the autumn and I try and buy um, a pack of each colour. So a pack is 400 grams, so you get four 100 gram balls. And it's usually for about four or five pounds. So you're not paying much 
for ball of yarn. So that's that one. There's just a little tiny bit of progress on that one. So hopefully once I've got some of my gift knitting and crochet done, I'll be able to work on that and get that done. I had hoped to get that one done for Christmas. I was going to finish it and wrap it up for her, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I've got um, the meandering paws to finish and I've got a uh, donkey and Megumi as well to start and finish because grandma likes donkeys so I'm making her a donkey and Megumi from the children so let's have a look at which whip shall I show next let's go for my socks so sock whip now these, I have the pattern in here so I can tell you the name of the designer. These are Hermione's Everyday Socks by Erica Luda. There they are. And I am using, if I can find the ball band, I am using the Starcraft Head Over Heels All Stars. Yes. And this is in the colourway Solterre and there's a little picture there and how it knits up. Now I did split the ball into two balls because I like to knit my socks concurrently. Um, unfortunately, it seems that they don't, the colour isn't evenly spread throughout the whole ball. So I'm going to have odd socks basically <laughs> but as they're only my third pair of socks to work on I'm not letting that bother me too much for this one uh, although for future reference I will be buying multiple balls because I will be buying yarn like this this yarn again because it's really nice and it's very affordable as well it's um how much did I pay it's only about four or five pounds for a hundred gram ball, which for sock yarn I've discovered isn't too bad. <laughs> um, so yeah, so here is sock number one. Actually, that one might be sock number two. No, that's sock number one. And here is sock number two. Apologies if the lighting's not great. I couldn't find my lamp that I use to give some, so you might not be seeing the colours or detail quite as well. It's, it's quite a subtle pattern, but um, I'm really enjoying doing them. They they don't need take too much concentration, so especially at the moment where because um, I only work on these on Saturdays that there's very little concentration needed. So if I'm watching a movie with the girls, because on Saturdays they like to watch a movie in the afternoon, it's I can just sit and work on them and knit away. And in the evening when it's just me and Simon, I can have a glass of wine with dinner and not worry about not being able to concentrate too much on these. Obviously when I get to the heel flap and gusset, uh, and when I start reducing for the toe, I probably probably will need to concentrate on them a little bit more than that as other obviously with the hat which is actually incidentally the first hat I've ever knit in the round as well as it being the most complicated cable I've ever done so yes that was um doubly exciting to have a finish on that anyway those are my socks that I'm working on at the moment and I'll be I'm on the lookout for the next pattern to knit so if you have any um, sock patterns to recommend particularly ones that work well with um, stripes a lot of the yarn I've bought recent well I say recently I haven't bought huge amounts of yarn but I've been trying when I've been buying little bits from wool warehouse I've been trying to add a ball or two of a sock yarn to work on um, so yes I've got 
a little bit of a sock yarn stash building up so it'd be nice to be able to always have a pair of socks on the go and always work on them on Saturdays so I don't know how many socks that'll get me over the year we shall wait and see so now this is the last yes the last whip that I have to show you I think yes the last whip that I have to show you and um, if you've been watching my vlogs you will be familiar with this. This is, I'll hold it a bit closer so you can see, the Crochet Society Advent Calendar Cal. And I must confess, I'm enjoying the pattern. I'm enjoying the colours. I'm not enjoying the yarn at all. I, me and the yarn have had a few fallings out. <laughs> it's very, very splitty. It's a 100% acrylic yarn, which I'm a little bit disappointed about because the advent calendar cost £50 which is a lot of money for me. Um, I plan on saving up and getting in one from an indie dye, so I appreciate those ones are going to be even more. But at least I know the yarn is going to be of a decent quality. This yarn feels... It's nice and soft. It's nice and squishy. But there's no feel of luxury to it. And... It... <sighs> It was almost it was marketed as almost a luxury item. So yes, I will enjoy doing the blanket. It I'm enjoying doing all the different stitches every day. It's a different stitch pattern. And I have done a few stitches that I haven't done before. I just I won't be buying one of these again. I'll continue subscribing to the boxes because the box, well, just lately it's almost all been um, acrylic yarn too, but there are a, on occasion some different fibres. The whole reason for my subscribing to the box was to experience different fibres, get a feel for what yarns I like, what yarns I don't like, and... Um, yeah, for the most part, it's been acrylic, which if it weren't for all the lovely little extras that you get in the box, I think I, I wouldn't be second thinking whether or not I would actually want to cancel because uh, some of the items are quite good. I'm going to give it another, another six months and I'll see how I get on over the next six boxes and we'll see. Because the last box was, and you'll see, I'm going to show, the official unboxing hasn't happened yet, but because this is my last video before Christmas, I will be showing you uh, my Crochet Society box. So if you do subscribe, haven't had your box yet, and don't want to know what's in it, I will make that my last incoming. I will talk about everything else. I'll make that my last incoming, and you can see them. So those are all my whips and I've had a busy incoming month, fortnight, two weeks, <laughs> not month, two weeks. <laughs> um, yeah, so I have had a bit of yarn, some magazines. Um, what shall I show first? Let's show you the thing I can't open first. I've had... Christmas Eve box. I follow this, it's Knit Me Sane, I follow them on Facebook and Instagram and I've ogled all of the yarn that they put on their feeds and then they advertised a Christmas Eve box. Now this was a special treat for myself because it was £40, so, but in here contains 
hand dyed yarn. It contains an exclusive pattern. It contains a few other treats and things as well. Um, some, um, I think there's a candle in there, that handmade candle. That so that is is more than just yarn and a pattern. And it's Christmas. It is my Christmas present to myself. So it was forty pounds. I believe there are actually still a few left. As I film, there are a few left in the um, in the shop. So if you want one of these two, head over there. I'll link her below. Um, yeah, she's got some beautiful yarns. She's got some nice, lovely kits as well. I might. I'm going to save up definitely and treat myself to a fancy yarn kit next year or two. I might do one crochet and one knitting because I've seen there's some beautiful crochet pro kits on there too <laughs> as well as knitting so those that's um this oh and the pattern will be socks just in case but even you know everything else I can't wait I really want to open it and it's only come down off the shelf that I can only just about reach so that I can show you the box if you want to find out what's inside, wait for my Christmas Eve vlog and we'll find out together. <laughs> yes. I thought the children have a Christmas Eve box every year. It's usually provided by the, um, their aunties, although this year because of COVID, we can't uh, go down and visit them because they um, are in Worcester, which is where I grew up. And uh, yeah, so we're not allowed to travel too much, and it's just too much hassle trying to risk everything. So, what shall I show next? Let's show. Oh, let's show my needles. So, obviously, for my hat, I needed some needles that I didn't have sizes for. Now, I am, I have got on my Christmas list. A set of the Knit Pro Zing interchangeable needles. But obviously, in the meantime, because I needed some for a Christmas present, I bought the four and a half millimeter needle, and that was for the main body of the hat. And the rib was done in the three point seven five. And obviously, for the top of the hat. Um, when it gets too small to work on the circulars, I got myself some DPNs as well in four and a half. I just, I really like these needles. So definitely um, after Christmas, if Father Christmas doesn't bring me the straight, either the straight zings or the circular zings, the interchangeables, I'll have to get them for myself because I have a number of projects on my list of things that I want to work on that involve using circular needles. So we shall have to think. I also bought the Knit Pro cable needles. I had hoped to get two needles in the same size, but they only had them in these packs with one bigger one smaller so I had to try doing that so yes and my other incoming before I get to my crochet box was oh yes to get my free delivery I needed some yarn <laughs> so I got now I really liked working the with the Drops Fable. Um, I used the Drops Fable print for my first two pairs of socks. So I bought some of this lovely grey. And I think it's really, really nice. I bought two balls. So they're 50 gram balls. So two balls should get me a pair of socks for either myself or my husband. So that's, that's really good. And yarn ever since i saw that west york <coughs> excuse me yorkshire spinners let's get a sip of juice 
Oh, I had a tickle in my throat. Um, yes, so West Yorkshire Spinners has got their limited edition Christmas yarns. <clears throat> and I fell in love with the new colour for the year. And this is Silent Night. Can you see, I don't know if you can see the sparkle. It might just be coming up. So this is the signature four ply, which is um, ideal for socks. So this is going to be a pair of socks. And it is 75% wool, 23% nylon and 2% polyester. It's a four ply yarn and it's 400 meters for a 100 gram ball. And it's so soft. It's just so soft. Sometimes with sparkly yarn, the sparkle can be a little bit scratchy, but this one isn't. And I can't wait to find a pair of socks to make with this either. <laughs> I've just got so many things that I want to make. I want to make all the things. <laughs> okay, so then I had my magazines. So I spotted this one on the magazine shelf in Sainsbury's last week when I was shopping. Simply Knitting, this is issue 206. And this jumper in particular jumped out at me. It's beautiful, it's it's really stunning jumper. So I want to make that. And there are lots, there's a few in here. I, I have a rule that I need to want to make at least two of the things that I see on the cover because they're always in bags so you can't actually see all of the patterns that are in here. Let's see if, what else I've got. What else have I marked down that I like? Also, so I like this sweater too. And because I really want to have a go at doing some colour work so sort of fair I'll like quite nice let's see oh yes and then there's these socks which is some colour work too so I'll have to get some YouTube tutorials on colour work and in the with the magazine came a set of three millimeter DPNs and then these lovely rainbow colours and a winter knits pattern book and again there's a, a couple of things in here that I want to make as well there's this really really nice sweater dress which I might make for Emily and then because I don't knit anywhere near enough for Simon there's this lovely jumper here now I do have lots of men's jumper patterns, a lot of them vintage um, to choose from in my box upstairs. So I shall certainly give that a whirl. And that one is made out of Karen Simply Soft, so it's a cable. And I quite like Karen Simply Soft. I have used it a few times. And then I got my Crochet Now magazine delivered. This is my subscription magazine. There's a few things in here. Uh, the last couple of magazines haven't had too much that I've wanted to do. But certainly this jumper jumps out at me here. That's something I want to do. And let's see if there's a, anything else that jumps out to show you. This is a couple of hats in here I want to make. This is really lovely scarf. Just how lovely is that? It's just really, really nice. That one is designed by Zoe Beeston. So yeah, so those are, and oh, it came with a small finishing set, with some little cheap scissors that actually do cut. So I, I they will get used as some darning needles and some little finishing labels. So not bad. They're getting better with their free gifts. They used to put some of those really horrible um, little kits that um, the yarn was really scratchy and 
they never really look like the pictures in the magazines of what they were supposed to make. So then, so it's just my yarn subscription from Dina's Home of Crafts. And I shall flash the card at you. This is attached to my October scheme. So this is hand dyed yarn subscription that I get through um, Etsy. I found this dye through Etsy and I it upgraded to three mini skeins. You can have one mini skein, three mini skeins or five mini skeins. Um, it is 20 grams and that you get 85 meters in a skein, mini skein, 75% superwash merino 25% nylon and these are fingering weights so it's a four ply and this month's theme is Christmas decorations so as you can see they're very baubly coloured so I've got this lovely pink this sort of goldish yellow and this lovely red. Now I'm start. I am starting to consider what I'm going to make with these because I just I've got a couple of really nice yellows there. They could work really well in some sort of a fade pro faded project. As can the red and the pink. So I don't know whether or not to keep going with a subscription for and wait until I have at least 100 grams of some colours that go together and knit something together or crochet we shall see I don't know you don't tend to you the meter is meterage doesn't go as far if you're crocheting although with four ply it, I'm, it might go a bit further it's getting a bit fluffy I just like to take them out of their bag and rub them on my face because they're so soft and lovely <laughs> anyway <laughs> before I get even sillier let's move on to my crochet society box this is box 19 and as you can tell by the pattern on the box, its theme is Christmas. And I love that. <laughs> it's got like a little Velcro closure on the box. So yeah, so it's got some, what's the pattern book? This month's yarn, ooh, oh, so I guess just a tape measure. This month's yarn is actually a branded yarn. For a nice change um, it is an acrylic yarn but we've got a brand so I'm happy with that and this th just everything in the box is just so nice <laughs> this time around this is why I don't know if I want to continue with my subscription because I really really like the the, the idea of opening a box of goodies <laughs> once a month that is like Christmas and some of the stuff is really nice um, it's just I wish they had more brands of yarn and more fibres that's all so this is okay, Starcraft Highland Heathers and I am definitely 100% using this yarn again I haven't got very far I'm making uh, one of the scarf project which I'll show you in a sec but this is the project so far So I'm making the scarf and it's just really nice. This this is going to be used for other projects. I am going to be looking this out and buying it again. So yes, keep this up, Crochet Society. Not that I think you watch my, my podcasts, but please, please. I love, 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 love that yarn. So we get a whole bunch of stuffing, which is really soft and squishy. It normally comes in a plastic bag. And 
One thing I have noticed in this box is there is much lower use of plastic, which I'm really happy about because a lot of the plastic that they use, it of it, I, it feels like the stuff that can't just go straight into the recycling bag in the look. <coughs> Excuse me. In the local recycling, I'm talking too much. That's what it is. Oh dear. Yes. So we've got stuffing, which, given the size of the toy, that the pattern is in here <laughs> it's a lot of stuffing i'm going to get to put some of this in my spare stuffing bag which is quite good it's taken a hit the last couple of toys because i had to raid the stuffing box for stuffy i had just enough stuffing to do her head and half of the body when i made Safi. so i had to raid my stuffing box so then we get this bauble which we clip together like that it's probably not showing terribly well but it's just a plastic bauble and in that we'll go this diddy little reindeer i can't wait to make that reindeer i don't think he'll be on the tree before christmas like I said, I've got a million other things to do first. I've got to stop looking in the mirror. I keep looking in the mirror. That's just, that's not very good, is it? Look at the camera. Yes, so um, I'm looking forward to making that reindeer. I'll show you the other patterns in a second. So then we have the very level, the hook, which has got stuffing stuck on it. We've got a 3.25 millimeter hook. No idea if that's in focus. Oh, there it is. So it's all sparkly. I like the sparkly hooks. So this is one of the things that keeps me subscribing. I love the hooks. They are so nice to use. And I'm sure that I can find some Etsy sellers that make them too. But it's just, it's nice getting all the other goodies at the same time. Like, I'll give it six months and then I'll make my decision. Oh, and we'll get the stitch marker, which I've got attached to my yarn. Which is really pretty. If that doesn't come out, I shall pop a photograph of it somewhere on the screen but that's really really pretty it's um a reindeer or it could just be a stag i don't know with with the heather's colors it could be a stag and then something that my girls are quite excited about it's a cookie cutter so there is actually a recipe in the book to make some cookies that we can use our cookie cutter for. So if I remember while I'm writing my shopping list first thing in the morning, I might get those ingredients and we could do some cookie baking and some cookie decorating. So we've got some silver thread, which I'm sure is probably for hanging on the bauble. And another little thing, eyes these the safety eyes are in here and these used to come in a plastic packet too and now they're in a little paper envelope which i'm really again really happy to see and we've got some christmas cards as well so we've got season sweetings and the sweetest gifts are handmade And tis the season to get crafting. It certainly will be if I've got as much craft stuff on my shop on my Christmas list as I hope to. 
And also staying with the gifting theme are these really handy little labels. Now I might make use of these with the items that I've made for gifting and they are little care labels that you pop in with I don't know how clear that's coming out because it's quite pale but it's got a little made by size fiber and then a care so you can pop in the details there so and you'll you also get the uh, this is in every box so this is just a conversion card with all your UK to US because they're um, the books in UK terms but they always do them on these really nice little postcards so that is that so now I'll show you the patterns so the first pattern and this is the one I'm working on at the moment is the wintry scarf designed by Fran Mori of Crochet Love Melbourne and that's a really pretty scarf so and it's really easy it looks quite complicated with the, the lace panel but it is really easy then what else have we got in here there's a, a little page about the yarn and just look at those colors that are available just some beautiful colours. Now this one is, the pink here is wild salmon and grist. I'm really liking the gorse which is sort of a greeny yellow and the heather which is quite a, a, a deeper pinky purple colour and the bracken, all the bracken. So yes definitely. <laughs> And then we've got these lovely little um, snowflake patterns, which I will be making, but just not in this yarn. I have a few other yarns I can be using for that. And oh, there's the gingerbread cookies recipe. So the and in is again a little bit closer up the littlest reindeer I can't wait to make him he's so cute he is so so adorable so yes so that is pretty much everything I've got to show you today actually um so of my tree the girls decorated the tree <laughs> Um, yes, it's, I can't think of anything else that I've got that I need to show you. So this has probably turned out to be even longer than I planned to with all the stopping and starting with my technical issues right at the start. So um, I'm not looking forward to editing that over the weekend. I shall try and get this posted up by Sunday evening in amongst all my vlogging. So I will bid you good night and I will see you again in a couple of weeks for my podcast. And I will see you tomorrow for my vlogs. Bye bye.